Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 36 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to extract elements from an array of complex objects using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see the requirements in details. So we have a JSON which is actually having an array. As you can see, this item is an array. This array is an array of complex objects, okay, which means this array contains multiple JSONs inside it and inside the JSONs we have another array as well, okay. So we can say that this array is an array of complex objects, okay. And if you see carefully, it has mainly three JSONs, okay, as you can see, this is one JSON, this is another one and this is another one, okay. Now, what we want to achieve is with the help of data flow transformation, we want to convert this JSON into this kind of output JSON. Where you can see the first property ID remains as it is from the input. Okay. Now you can see we have other property called item names where we have all the unique names coming out of the item array okay so you can see this name property holds a for the first json and it holds b for the second json and it holds a again for the third json so if you see the unique elements is nothing but a and b so we have duplicate a's here so we are going to eliminate one of them and in the output we are going to have this extracted array which is nothing but the unique elements present so in the item names we will end up having only two elements that is a and b okay now similarly we will have item owners properties where we will extract the unique owners coming out of all the json so you can see in the first json we have bob and steve in the second json we have mike as the owner and in the third json again we have bob and mike so if you compare bob is coming twice in the whole json content and then mike is also coming twice so basically in the output we want unique names that is bob steve and mike we don't want duplicates so in a nutshell we want to extract all the unique or distinct elements coming out of all the jsons present in the input array okay so we will land up with only distinct elements present in the output json so let me remove all this so now let's try to create the data flow. Let me go to Azure portal. So here in my ADLS account, in my ABC container, I have uploaded the JSON. That is the input JSON. Let me see the content. So it is the same content as you can see here in the input JSON. Okay. So we have to transform it with the help of data flow to achieve this kind of output. Okay. So let's go to ADF portal. And here let's try to create a new data flow. So you have to turn this data flow debug option in order to see the content or the data during the creation of data flow. Okay. So let me try to add a new source. And here in the data set, we have to create a new data set pointing to the input file. So our file format is JSON. So let me select that and let me navigate to the file path that is ABC container. Okay. So here, this is my input file. So we will import the schema as well. Let me click on OK. Now let's go to source option. And here we have this JSON settings. We have to expand it and we have to select this array of documents. Because if you see the JSON, it is basically a complex JSON, which has an array as well. OK, so we have to select this array of document. And now let's go to data preview and hit on this refresh. So you will be only able to see the data uh, here in the data preview once you turn on this data flow debug option. So make sure to turn this on. So we can see the data now. It is the same data which you can see as the input JSON. It is in the collapsed format. If I expand this array, so you can see it has three elements or three JSONs within it as you can see here. And even if after further expansion, you can see all the data. So you can see one A and then after expanding this as well you can see bob and steve okay similarly you will be able to see the other elements as well okay so first of all i'm going to flatten this array with the help of something called flatten transformation so let me select that and here in the unroll by we have to select the array which you want to flatten so we have this owners array which we want to flatten okay 
and now we have to select the columns here these are the default columns that has been selected we can modify it according to our need so we want the id column in the output so that is fine and from this items array we don't want the id present in the items array as you can see the output uh, we just have one id which is coming from this uh, id property okay so we can deselect this id which we don't want and we need names and owners okay so let me go to flatten transformation here and uh, in this items i am not going to select id we need name let me change this column name to name and let me add another mapping to select this owners array okay so it will try to flatten the owners array present here okay so basically it will convert it into tabular format so let's try to preview the data so now we can see the data is visible and there are few duplicates as well as you can see the first record as well as this record is exactly same so instead of trying to remove the duplicates by using row number function as we have done in previous videos as well our approach will be to try to fetch out the distinct values for names as well as owners okay so what we will do is we will try to group using id okay for that we will use aggregate function okay so let me add that and here in the group by let me select id uh, as the column and in the aggregates let me go here and we need to create the two new columns or two new properties for the output as you can see item names is not present as any of the columns in the input so we have to create this new column and we have to create item owners as well so let me add this item names as well as let me add another one column item owners okay and in the expression let me open this expression builder so here we have something called collect function which basically collects all the values of an expression present in aggregated group and convert it into an array okay so if you see the example we can give collect and then the column name or we can create an array of json where this will be the key name and this will be the value present in that key okay so don't worry about all this what we will do is we will try to use collect function first and then we will decide if we need to use collect or collect unique okay so let me select this collect function let me remove this and here we have to pass the columns so item names is nothing but the array of names property okay so it will it should have the uh, distinct values coming out of this name property so let me select this name property and let me hit on save and finish and similarly let me use collect of owners here for item owners and let me hit on save and finish and let's try to preview the data now yeah so the data is visible now so you can see everything has been grouped together into a single row as you can see all the ids are same so we have grouped using this id column so we are getting only single row and if you see this item names array so here we have in total five elements and that is a a b a a okay it is nothing but uh, it has created one array out of this names similarly in the owners let me see so here as well we have five elements that is bob steve mike bob mike so we have duplicates as well which is nothing but it has converted this whole content into array using collect function okay so now what we want is we want distinct values instead of this duplicated ones so instead of collect let's try to use collect unique that we just saw collect unique function let me remove this let me save and finish and here as well we will use collect unique instead of collect let me save and finish and let's try to refresh the data yeah so the data is visible now let's try to check the content so you can see we are getting the unique elements now that is a and b which are the unique values okay and similarly if i check this owners so you can see in total we have only three distinct values that is mike bob and steve so we are able to eliminate all the duplicates and we are only getting the distinct values using this collect unique function okay now the only job is to load this data into a json file using sync transformation 
so let me create a new data set pointing to our ADLS Gen 2 and let me select the JSON format and let's navigate to output container let me use the same container for output file I'm not going to import any schema and for the file name we are going to define the file name in settings by using this output to single file let me set single partition and let me give the file name as output json or output file dot json okay and now we need to simply call this data flow using adf pipeline so let me call this data flow and let me hit on debug so let's wait for this execution to be completed then we will validate if the output file has been generated in our container or not the data flow is in progress let's wait yeah so the execution is completed let's go to the container and after refresh we should be able to see the output file let's hit on refresh so you can see the output file.json has been generated now and let's try to check the content so you can see the output if we compare with the desired output so we have id property which is holding 1234 which is correct and then item names it is nothing but an array which should hold the unique values coming out of the name property from input which is a and b okay so we are getting a and b but the orders are different and then item owners which should hold bob steve and mike and we are getting mike bob steve okay so everything is coming same as expected only thing is the orders of the array elements might be different because it is fetching out the unique elements and collect unique function is not considering the orders in which it is picking the unique values okay so it's totally fine but in case if you wanted to sort in alphabetical order there's something called sort function as well you can use that so i'm good with this one so uh, we are able to achieve this using a flattened transformation as well as aggregate transformation so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you